who'd uh, gone up to hike to his summit where it's a vista overlook. I talked to local guides, I met with the park rangers, and I made sure I had everything packed. Now in my bag, I packed my Leica M-Type 240 with a 50 millimeter lens, a 21 millimeter lens, and I thought, you know what, why not? I'll take my 135 telephoto lens, something that you wouldn't usually use for scenic photography, but it only weighs about a pound, and so I thought, let's just throw that in the bag. Now the local park rangers here said, hey, you've got to make sure that you're ready for any kind of weather change because the weather on the mountain changes rapidly. So over the mountains there could be a weather storm that you can't even see and it can just wash over and hit you. So I made sure to part, uh, pack a raincoat in case it rained and then also a parka uh, that I put in my bag just in case the weather dropped rapidly. Now one of the things I have to mention is I have bronchitis right now and yesterday it was even worse. I postponed this hike for quite a ways because I wanted to make sure that I could actually do it, but I couldn't wait any longer, so I thought I'd set out and uh, try this out. Now, before I show you exactly what happened, I want to remind you that Adorama has some photo contests that are really fun, they're absolutely free to enter, and if you do, you can win some terrific prizes, so click the link and enter today. Well, I want to show you how horribly wrong this photo shoot went, and so let's join me hiking up the trail about one kilometer in. Well, I'm coming up on the first kilometer here. I have to say it's extremely windy. My bronchitis is giving me a little bit of issues here. I'll do my best. It's so darn windy. My hat's blowing off. It's sort of, sort of uh, making it a challenge. All right, well, I'm passing now the three kilometer mark. I just hiked up a crazy steep hill. And with my bronchitis, my heart, Time to work overtime. I'm clocking it at about 180 beats a minute, which is super unhealthy for somebody my age. But I'm gonna keep going. You know, the key for uh, getting there with a the trail like this is just to set a pace that you're comfortable with and stick to it. Just keep going. I think for photography, it's, it's a lot the same way. If you wanna become a professional or shoot weddings or whatever it is you wanna do, you gotta set a goal then just stick to it. When things get hard, maybe you run out of money, get low on spirits, whatever it is, you gotta keep going. Keep practicing, you know, learn new things. Just don't stop. Maybe you're going slow. It's all right, as long as you're going, you'll finally get there. Just don't give up. Well, I just came up from that trail, <coughs> that trail right there and came around the corner and this is the view. It is spectacular. So I'm gonna take a break. I am at four uh, and a quarter kilometers. So this is a good place to take a break and shoot some pictures. Well, right here, I'm at a perfect place to use my 135 millimeter lens. And I'm so glad I brought this because with the 50, it's just a little bit too wide, but this is a perfect scenario to use this lens. And here, my bronchitis is kicking in here a little bit. Ah, this is spectacular. I'm shooting at 15 hundredth of a second, so there's really no need to use a tripod. My biggest challenge here is the wind. It's so windy I'm being pushed around. That and the bronchitis. Well, just as promised, the temperatures dropped pretty rapidly, so I'm super glad I brought my windbreaker. And at this rate, I'm gonna need my other coat because it's really, really windy up here. And that's just cutting through my body, so always be prepared. You never know what's gonna happen to you. Whew. I'm at five kilometers, halfway there or almost halfway there, depending on if it's 10 or 12, I don't know. So I just saw a sign back there that said two more hours. So that looks like about halfway there. And the bronchitis is, is keeping at bay, but uh, I got two more hours at least to go. So off we are. Now approaching kilometer eight, and it is getting tough. It's extremely windy, but the view, it's just spectacular. Uh, with the end in sight, I don't want to stop, but that is getting brutal right now. I'm trying to climb this hill. But just a couple more kilometers, and I think I should be there. My bronchitis is really kicking in, and it, <coughs> making it difficult. But I'm close. Can't stop now. And the wind is so strong, it's hard to stay on the trail. I'm getting knocked off so you can't really tell i guess on the video but the wind is killing me
Well, I'm at uh, kilometer 8.7, so I've got a few more to go. And I feel like the mountain has, has totally beat me. The uh, bronchitis has kicked in and I'm gonna stop right here. Uh, you can see I'm doing this handheld. Uh, this is just a spectacular scene up here. I've got to climb this still. Up ahead of me there are some, some trekkers. Uh, they passed me about 20 minutes ago, so you can see that there's still quite a ways to go before I summit here. But uh, I'm just going to take a break here for a bit because honestly, <coughs> I'm not sure I'm going to be able to make it. <sighs> I'm doubting the wisdom of doing this with bronchitis. I hope it doesn't turn into pneumonia. <sighs> the wind is the wind is brutal. All right. Ah, but it's beautiful. Well, I made it to the summit, but it is so windy here that I can't set up a tripod. I'm being, I'm like leaning into the wind here. Yeah, it's probably 80 miles an hour. So I can't set up a tripod to shoot a video. So I'm gonna have to shoot the stills. And then when I get back down off the mountain, I can, <coughs> I can, <laughs> sorry, I can walk you through what I did. But it's just too windy up here. You can barely hold the camera steady, actually. So, uh, sorry, I'm gonna have to just shoot some stills and then I'll, I'll explain what I did when I get back down to El Chalten. But look at that summit. Whoa. The wind has picked up so severely that I have to leave the mountain. There's a storm coming in, but it's got to be 80, 60, 70, 80 miles an hour. I'm leaning backwards into the wind, so I got to get off the mountain. That storm. There's a storm that's going to hit, so I'm out of here. I don't need to get caught up here. Whoa, whoa. This is insane. The wind. The wind is blowing so hard. I can't stay on my feet. It's actually blown me down twice. It's got to be 100 miles an hour. As hard as getting up was, I think getting down might be even worse. Get off this mountain. I did make it off that mountain. I passed some uh, seasoned guides that were hiking up to the summit as quickly as possible to tell everybody to get off the mountain because a weather storm was coming in pretty rapidly. And when I finally got to the bottom, I turned around to see that where I just was standing was covered in clouds and rain and wind. I'd made it down the mountain just in time. In fact, when I got back to the city, in fact, El Chaltin was stormed with rain and high winds. Now, coming down the mountain, I actually injured myself. The wind was so strong when I was being pushed down at the summit. Uh, when I went to uh, brace myself, I actually twisted my knee. I ended up limping down eight kilometers down the mountain. And so not only did I not get the shots that I was hoping to get, I hurt myself and now I'm not going to be able to hike the glacier, which I was planning on doing in the next couple of days. So it just didn't go as planned. I did, uh, was able to spend about five minutes at the summit before everything went crazy. And here are the shots that I got. When I was there, I shot with my 50 millimeter and my 21 millimeter lens. And I kept things dialed in at about F8 and set my camera to aperture priority mode. I got a couple of shots that I like. Now these aren't perfect shots because as you can see there's too much foreground. What I really needed to do was hike on probably another kilometer so I didn't have as much foreground in that shot as I have. And so I didn't get the shots that I wanted but I got some that I think were okay. But the bonus is as I was testing out my aperture values and just sort of see what my depth of field with my new Leica gear was, I did get some shots from my test photos that I really really like. In fact one of them was shot right here where I'm standing right now. So all is not lost. 
Now, what's the point of this story? Well, if Brian Peterson will forgive me for stealing his line, I think it's this. When things don't go as planned and you maybe do a bunch of homework to do a photo shoot and it just doesn't work out, don't give up. You keep shooting. Well, thanks so much for joining me for this episode of Exploring Photography. Don't forget that you can subscribe to Adorama TV absolutely free. Just click the link and subscribe. That way you don't miss a single episode. Also, zip over to the Adorama Learning Center. There are tons of articles on scenic photography and uh, shooting video and all kinds of things. So don't miss out on that. It's free, absolutely free. So check that out. Thanks again for joining me, and I will see you again next time. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.